It may not be pretty to watch, but it's what we do at the Irvine Ranch Water District Michelson Water Reclamation Plant. Every day, we take 18 million gallons of what goes down the drains and use nature's own tools to turn it into recycled water. It's recycled water so clean, it can be used for everything but drinking. After it's treated, it becomes water that's used in business, in agriculture, and on city landscaping. Recycled water used on golf courses, on crops, and in industry means we need to buy less of the precious fresh water that our communities need. Right now, recycled water leaves our plant in special purple pipes and makes up more than 26% of our total water supply. Recycling water is good for the environment and also helps to keep IRWD's water rates among the lowest in Orange County. Our recycling programs have been so successful that we're growing again. We are expanding the Michelson Water Reclamation Plant so we can provide another 10 million gallons of recycled water a day. A lot of nature, science, and engineering is involved in the water recycling process taking place in the huge tanks and pipelines at the Michelson Water Reclamation Plant. It starts at the headworks. Two huge 54-inch pipes funnel all the wastewater into the plant from the Irvine Ranch Water District's customers. Right now, what you see is 98% water, but it contains impurities that must be removed. We start that process by putting the wastewater through in-channel grinders, which liquefy the biggest pieces of debris. Their job basically is to protect the upstream treatment plant from uh, debris that could plug up or um, plug pipes. The biggest thing I've ever seen coming here is a bowling ball. Once the grinders have done their work, the water goes into the primary clarifiers. In these big tanks, we slow the water down so that gravity does the hard work. Most of the impurities, what we call biosolids or sludge, simply sink to the bottom of the tank. The sludge is removed and sent through a pipeline to the Orange County Sanitation District for more treatment. The treated sludge eventually becomes fertilizer for agricultural uses. Flow equalization basins are the next step. These temporary storage tanks allow us to balance the bigger daytime flows with the smaller nighttime flows. That way, we can properly treat wastewater as efficiently and economically as possible. The next step is where nature is really put to work, and it is the heart of the process. These are the aeration tanks. This is where millions upon millions of microscopic organisms go to work to clean up the wastewater, just as they do in nature. These biological workhorses are found in every stream and lake but we use very high concentrations of these tiny, hungry, living things in our 25-foot deep tanks. Their job is to decompose the organic materials in the water. They do it in just five hours with the help of a lot of oxygen that is pumped into the tanks. The darkness is from the activated sludge or these activated living organisms. Because we have them in such a high concentration, we can actually visually see them as a brown sludge. The process here is faster than what occurs in nature simply because we have a much higher concentration of organisms. Not only that, because we have a high concentration of organisms, we have to supply uh, a lot of air or a lot of oxygen to those organisms to make it work. The wastewater is getting cleaner, but it is not ready for reuse just yet. The next step in the process puts the water through a secondary clarifier. In this two-hour process, more sludge is skimmed off and removed while the microorganisms sink to the bottom and are collected to be used again. The cleaner water in the secondary clarifier is now called secondary effluent and is ready for the next step. To clean the water even more, we turn once again to doing it nature's way, only faster. Inside this concrete dual media filtration building, the secondary effluent is pumped up two stories and then allowed to trickle down through sand and anthracite coal. It's the same way water is naturally cleaned as it soaks through the earth. The water leaving the filtration building is sparkling clear and 99% of the contaminants are gone. But before it goes out to be used in parks and on golf courses, there's one more step 
Disinfection. Over the next few hours, the water moves slowly down a serpentine channel as chlorine is added to kill any remaining harmful bacteria. If I put a, a cup of drinking water in front of you and a cup of our effluent, the average person wouldn't be able to tell the difference would be that clean. The recycling process has taken only 16 to 18 hours. The water from a customer's morning shower is ready to be used to irrigate a golf course later that night. Throughout that time, each step of the process has been carefully monitored. In our lab, samples arrive constantly to be tested to make sure the water is as clean as it looks. Every day, 365 days a year, we're probably collecting over uh, 30 to 40 samples at the plant and we're monitoring it for both performance of the plant and also for compliance. Performance of the plant, we're uh, seeing to make sure that the plant is operating properly, to make sure that it's, it's properly uh, treating the wastewater. And from a compliance standpoint, we want to make sure that it meets federal, state, and local requirements. The Irvine Ranch Water District's water recycling program has been a leader for so long that our plant was issued the very first unrestricted use permit in California. That permit allows our water to be used for everything but drinking. Years ago, they had the decision of either treating the wastewater and then putting it in the ocean or treating it and recycling it. At the time, since we're pretty far from the ocean, it would be pretty expensive to get to an ocean outfall and to build an ocean outfall. They said, why don't we just spend the same amount of money on doing a water reclamation program? And it turned out to be a good investment. It's nice to be able to recycle and know that you're doing, being a good steward of the resources. We also were the first to use the purple pipes that take the recycled water out to our district. There are now more than 4,000 connections to that purple pipe system, which runs more than 400 miles throughout the Irvine Ranch Water District. And those purple pipes, which are called Irvine Purple, have now become the international symbol for recycled water. The expansion project underway now will help meet our goals and the demands for recycled water. Our engineers say that with our master plan, we will have a recycled water capacity of 33 million gallons a day by the year 2025. 28 million gallons a day will come from the Michelson Water Reclamation Plant and another 5 million from our smaller Los Alisos Water Reclamation Plant. That's a lot of water going back out to be used again. Water that otherwise would be wasted. In our arid climate, recycled water will make a huge difference. That's why the Irvine Ranch Water District uses nature's tools to make sure there is enough water for the community now and in the future.